Now that's a great way to get hyped up for a game. Or maybe it's a bad omen. We could go either way. This is Van Helsing, released in 2004 for the Game Boy Advance, courtesy of Avendi Universal Games and based on the 2004 motion picture of the same name that I probably only saw once and that was probably back when the film came out and I thought it was okay. Fun little horror action thing, but they made a video game about it. A couple actually, there was also a console game that I've heard good things about, but the GBA version is what we're looking at because sure, why not? And also, I actually didn't mind this. Well, I didn't mind it until it crapped out on me, but that's another story entirely. Anyway, Van Helsing. The movie starring Hugh Jackman as Van Helsing, monster hunter dude who hunts monsters and is charged with killing Count Dracula and his motley crew of classic movie monster things. You know, we've had games in some form or fashion based on this concept, you see. Popular games, rather. But I guess developer Sapphire didn't want to do the usual side-scrolling game because it's been done better with this concept. So they went with this overhead beat-em-up-esque action game where you move from room to room fighting monsters with your fists, guns, to a little jump that serves no real purpose, and you even have a grappling hook gimmick to cling to walls and stuff that also doesn't see much use beyond trying to reach the oddball power-up out of reach. And that's a bit of a shame because I don't know why, actually. Eh. Anyway, Van Helsing is a fairly straightforward, almost brain-dead action game where you go from room to room killing enemies who will gang up on you. Killing foes will cause them to drop gimmicks that you could pick up, and there's a variety of pickups in the game, including life-restoring blue gimmicks, green gimmicks that will grant you an extra life if you collect 40 of them, and gold gimmicks are your reward gimmicks that are hidden throughout the game. Yeah, thanks. There is one other type of gimmick that is of utter importance in the game, and that's the Red Glyph. Each of the game's levels has four of these to seek out, and recovering all of these will result in your rather paltry life meter being extended. Think of these as heart container pieces for the vampire hunter to pick up, which is the general idea. Van Helsing has a couple means of disposing of enemies. One is this flailing melee attack in which he supposedly uses his razors or his knives or whatever they're called. Look, I haven't seen this movie in decades, and the graphics don't make clear exactly what this attack is supposed to be. It could very well be adamantium claws for all I know. I mean, look at the star of this shindig. Anyway, this is fine for close quarters things, but not always. And in those not always situations, you have a gun, which does minor damage, but is at least useful in keeping foes at bay, for the most part. Later on, you'll gain other weapons, such as crossbows and electric guns and stuff, and you could cycle through your collected wares as your arsenal builds. Control's fairly responsive and solid. Aiming your weapons is not fantastic, but it gets the job done well enough. Van Helsing has a password system, and you get a new password after completing a level, though this isn't a particularly long game. Players can probably blow through it within an hour or two, depending on whether you decide to go ahead and kill every enemy in the game, which you don't need to do unless you're forced to do so, which is usually whenever this green meter pops up on screen, and sometimes there's a boss you'll have to contend with, but otherwise you could just run through this place without worry. Though some enemies need to be killed in order to obtain the life-extending glyphs, and really that's about it. This is not a particularly deep game, it's just action schlock that's low on the replay value once you've beaten it, but it's alright for what it does. I've heard some rather negative things about this game beforehand, but honestly, even within the realm of licensed stodge, I've played much, much worse. This is more than playable. Visually, Van Helsing looks fairly decent for the most part. There's some digitized muck shots of the cast during dialogues and the actual in-game graphics depict some nice spooky scenery to go along with some smoothly animated character sprites that somewhat resemble the characters from the film, so if you are familiar with Van Helsing the movie, you'll recognize who's who at least. Well, okay, the zombie grunts leave much to be desired somewhat. Part of me does wish exit paths are a little more defined at some point. Sometimes they're obvious, other times you wouldn't know until you look out on a fairly cluttered path that wouldn't look like something you could actually go through. And then there's the open gate that leads to nowhere. Minor gripe, but other than that, Van Helsing does sport some decent above average graphics for the most part. The same cannot be said for the sound, however, which is nothing but constant, droning background noise that attempts to be some semblance of music, but it's really hard to tell. The light drop of sound effects, and that one screaming voice clip, and oh yes, the uh, droning 
noise that plays constantly when you're low on health? Yeah, no. Best keep the volume down on this one, kids, and pop in your music of choice on your music player of choice while the action plays out on screen. Overall, Van Helsing on the Game Boy Advance is... okay-ish, I guess? It's not as bad of a game as I was expecting, though that's not exactly high praise since there's not really a whole lot to this one. The best thing I could say is that it functions, it's playable, and other than one or two freak occasions it does technically work, but like most licensed games of this era, this is something you pick up because you saw the property it's based on, you play it for a bit, you eventually beat it, toss it aside, and then move on to something else. That said, I still had a bit of fun with this during my brief playthrough, so Van Helsing does have its moments. All in all, I'd say it's perfectly acceptable licensed game fodder that's fun while it lasts, but that's about it really. <laughs>